Good morning, everyone. Uh, just a quick question. Was anyone here Thursday night? Woo! Woo! That was amazing. Um, so welcome to the Library of Congress. We're so excited to have you all here for this very special family day centered on the theme of treasures. This week, we celebrated the grand opening of our new David M. Rubenstein Treasures Gallery, along with its first exhibition, Collecting Memories. Many of you have probably have your own collections of memories at home, so take a look at these and how they're displayed, and maybe you'll be inspired for your own. Um, in our new gallery, you can see incredible collections items, original sketches of the Washington Monument, a map from the Lewis and Clark expedition, and original artwork for the Spider-Man comic by Stan Lee and Stephen Ditko. You can also see a copy of the Gettysburg Address written in Lincoln's own handwriting. And we hope you'll go upstairs after the show to see for yourself. Now, in addition to the treasures in the gallery, we also have lots of other treats in store for you today. All day, we're going to have treasures of American communities, including performances and demonstrations in the Great Hall. So get ready for some jump roping, square dancing, hand clapping, and even some body percussion. Finally, the day will conclude with a group square dance where we will put all of your new skills to the test on the Great Hall dance floor. I'm definitely gonna be there doing that too. Um, before we send you upstairs for all those fun activities though, we have a very special treasure for you right here. Natalie Merchant is an American singer, songwriter, and producer who throughout her 42 career has captivated audiences with her distinctive voice and her literary pop songs. She has served on the library's American Folk Life Center Board of Trustees since 2022, where she is an advocate and a champion for the library and its vast folk life collections. And this performance today is really inspired um, in fact, by the library's collection. So we're very excited that that's happening. And with the American Folklife Center celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2026, she's partnering with the library to spearhead a youth initiative to celebrate this milestone. And one last thing, I wanna take a moment to thank our sponsors for the day who are making this all possible. The Carnegie at Washington Center and the Fitzgerald of Palisades. Gifts like theirs help make programs like this and exhibits like the Treasures Gallery upstairs free and accessible to the public. I also want to alert you to upcoming family days. We are offering one family Saturday each month. Um, July 20th, we're going to be celebrating the Olympics here uh, with a family day. August 24th, we're going to have family day at the National Book Festival at the Convention Center. And September 19th, we're focused on Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, now, uh, get ready. We're in for such a special treat. Today's sing-along will include music sourced from and traced back to the American Folklife Center's sound archives and printed materials, as well as photographs and film footage from their collections and the library's prints and photographs division. She is joined on stage by Maddie Gordon, dance, percussion, fiddle, and harmonica, Richie Stearns, banjo, Kevin Wimmer, fiddle, Alex Lacrament, upright bass, and Jackson Fitzgerald, guitar, as well as Gideon Levine, also on guitar. So without further ado, let's please give a warm welcome to our performers and get ready to sing along. Good morning. Still morning. Good morning. And I was the one that preemptively opened the door because I heard, get ready. And I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, yes, we are celebrating the library, this magnificent institution. Do you know this is the library? The largest library in the world, the whole world. And it's full of treasure. 
And so much of it has been digitized that even if you're not able to be here in the building, you can go online and you can find some amazing things. And last year I was, you know, even before I was appointed to the board of the American Folklife Center, I spent many an hour deep into the night searching through the archives because I'm a visual learner and if I can see a photograph of a, a historical figure or an event, it makes me remember it better and understand it more. So I found an amazing piece of footage that was shot by the Edison Company in 1887 and I want to share it with you. 1897, I am dyslexic as well. <laughs> So isn't that phenomenal? That, that's so early. And we've all gotten used to having a phone with a camera in our pocket at all times. But that was the birth of being able to film somebody. And it's so amazing that we have that footage from so long ago. And um, you might have at the end read the credit that, that, that um, Steel Miss Liza was recorded by John A. Lomax. And um, we're going to show you now a photograph of John's son, Alan. John and Alan, father and son duo, are probably our most famous song catchers. Song catchers or folklorists or uh, uh, musicologists are people that think these are important songs that people sing, folk songs, and we have to record them in some way, whether we write them down or film them or record them so that we don't forget them. And between the two of them, they recorded thousands of songs. And they're all kept in this building, the recordings. Th this Lomax collection is um, housed here and it is protected and preserved by the staff of the American Folklife Center. And so this is Texas Gladden. Alan's talking to her. She, he recorded many, many songs that Texas Gladden, who's from, Tex uh, from Virginia, um, she was just uh, an amazing storehouse of ballads. And we're going to perform one of the ballads I learned from a field recording. A field recording is you're out in the field, which is out, out there in the world, and you just record the person who's singing just a cappella, which means without any music. So we're going to hear a bit of te Texas Gladden singing the Devil's Nine Questions. Oh, what is higher than a tree? Sing 99 and 90. And what is deeper than the sea? And you were the weaver's body. Heaven's higher than a tree. Sing 99 and 90. And hell is deeper than the sea. And I am the weaver's body. It's such a gift that we have that um, these songs would be forgotten without the assistance of these amazing song catchers, these amazing um, folk musicians. Um, so imagine there's a conversation between the devil and a small child. Would you like to have a little conversation with the devil? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to hold myself together if the devil came up and started asking me questions. But this child, I like this song because it's sort of like a folk tale that the child seems completely unflappable, not scared of the devil at all. It's going to challenge the devil, so let's give this a try. So I'm the devil. When I'm over here, I'm the devil. And when I'm over here, I'm going to be the child. Okay. Oh, ye, you must answer my questions nine. 
Sing 99 and 90 Oh, you're not God's, you're one of mine And you are the weaver's bunny What is wider than the milk? Sing 99 and 90 And what is softer than the silk? And who is the weaver's bunny? Child Snow is wider than the milk Sing 99 and 90 And down is softer than the silk And I am the weaver's bunny What is taller than the tree? Sing 99 and 90 And what is deeper than the sea? And who is the weaver's bunny? Heaven is taller than the tree Sing along if you want. Sing 99 and 90. And hell is deeper than the sea. And I am the weaver's bunny. Now what is louder than a horn? Sing 99 and 90 And what is sharper than a thorn? And who is the weaver's bunny? Thunder is louder than a horn Sing 99 and 90 And death is sharper than a thorn And I am the weaver's bunny Devil's thinking hard. Say, how am I going to stump this kid? This kid knows the answer to every one of my questions. What's more innocent than a lamb? Sing 99 and 90. And what is meaner than womankind? And who is the weaver's bunny? What's the devil talking? <laughs> not our Supreme Court. Oh wait, we're in the library. We're not political in the library. We, we said all that at the door. Sorry. A babe's more innocent than a lamb. Sing 99 and 90 And the devil is meaner than womankind And I am the weaver's bunny You 
You have answered my questions nine Sing ninety-nine and ninety You are God's not one of mine And you are the weaver's bunny Good job. I heard some singing out there. Um, the next song we're going to do is called If No One Ever Marries Me, and this is an adaptation of a poem by this lovely lady, Narasal Matadama. And her, um, her poem was written in uh, the 1860s when she was a, a young child, and her father just happened to be a very famous and wealthy painter. You may have, heard, may have heard of him, Lorenzo Matadema. He named his daughter after himself. <laughs> and, <laughs> but she really broke the mold. Um, she grew up in a very cultured, liberal household, surrounded by musicians and poets and scientists and painters. And she ended up writing this poem. Um, if no one ever marries me, I shan't mind very much. I'll buy a squirrel in a cage and a little rabbit hutch. And I love the last verses. And when I'm really getting old at 28 or 9, I'll buy myself a little orphan girl and bring her up as mine. Now there is a woman with a vision of the future. <laughs> and when I was doing my research on, on um, the poets for this project, Leave Your Sleep, that I did, some of the photographs that I sourced for the 80-page book that went with the project came from the Library of Congress. So I feel like I've made a big circle and come home here. So um, if no one ever marries me. Well, if no one ever marries me, will I walk in my What is? What are the words to this one? <laughs> <laughs> well, if no one ever marries me, and I don't see why they should. That says I'm not pretty. No, I'm seldom good. I'm seldom good. Well, if no one ever marries me, I shan't mind very much. I'll buy a squirrel in a cage and a little rabbit hutch. If no one marries me, if no one marries me, no one marries me. You could sing that part. No one marries me. No one marries me. I'll have a cottage near a wood and a pony all my own. A little lamb quite clean and tame that I can take to town. When I'm really getting old at 28 or 9 I'll buy myself a little orphan girl Bring her up as mine If no one marries me Here we go No one marries me No one marries me Marries me no one marries me, marries me, if no one marries me, marries me, well if no one marries me.
All right, so now we're going to start the sing-along in earnest, and we're going to count backwards. Um, and you will, not only am I dyslexic, I cannot do math, but I can count backwards <laughs> from 20 even numbers. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none. And then I can do the, the negative numbers. So, um, is that what they call them? The odd numbers, see? <laughs> negative numbers are below zero. I can't count those. Okay, so if you look at your um, things, so here's the melody, and let's practice. Um, on, uh, look here, we in. On yonder hill there lives a lassie. Can you sing that? On yonder hill there lives a lassie. I have a really low voice, I'm sorry. And her name I do not know. And her name I do not know. One fine day I'm going to see her. See why we start so low? Because we end up there. One fine day I'm going to see her, whether she be rich or poor. And you shouldn't be making a movie, you should be learning the song. <laughs> They'll be watching you. Then you go 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, and a 5, 3, 1. See, I did that without looking. It's one of my most popular parlor tricks. Okay, do that with me. 1, 2, 3, and... 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. And then you do the even. 20, 18, 16, 14. How do you know the melody? <laughs> I haven't taught that to you. 20, 8, 6, 4, 2, num. Okay? I think I got that, me I messed that up, but you've got, you've written it down. <laughs> That's why <laughs> Lauren had it printed out for you. Okay, we're going to start. One, from the beginning, on, on yonder hill there lives a lassie, and her name I do not know. One, two, three. On yonder hill there lives a lassie, and her name I do not know. One fine day I'm going to see her, whether she be rich or poor. 1917, ready? One, two. 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, and 5, 3, 1. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 9. Round and round on the wheel of fortune. Round and round in the wheel for me. Young women's hearts are so uncertain, sad experience teaches me. I didn't teach you that part, but the same melody, and you have the words. I see I've got gold and silver, I see I've got acres of land. I see I've got ships in the ocean, all to sail. At your command 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, and a 5, 3, 1 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 9 Round and round, round and round on the wheel of fortune Round and round, turn the wheel for me who can make a round? Make the um, wheel with me. Let's do it again. Round and round on the wheel of fortune. Round and round in the wheel for me. Young women's hearts 
to so uncertain, sad experience teaches me. Okay, instead of the devil and the child, now you have a conversation between a man who's come courting, and he's like, I've got acres of land, and she says, all I want is a good young man. I don't want your gold, your silver. I don't want your acres of land. I don't want your ships in the ocean. All I want is a good young man. Here we go. Round and round on the wheel of fortune. Round and round in the wheel for me. Young women's hearts are so uncertain, sad experience teaches me. Want to do the round and round one more time. Here we go. Round and round on the wheel of fortune. Round and round to the wheel for me. Young women's hearts are so uncertain, sad experience teaches me. Oh. I've never done a sing-along before. This is fun. <laughs> I mean, I force sing-alongs on my audience from time to time, but they're like, oh, it's like an ambush. <laughs> oh, we're going to sing along. But you came prepared, and you have the lyrics. <laughs> so you're at a great advantage. And now we're going to hear another, um, a little recording. Does anybody know who that is? That's Jean Ritchie. Jean Ritchie's a lovely, lovely woman from Kentucky. You know how many children there were in her family? Take a guess. How many kids do you think were in Jean Ritchie's family? 50? No. Her poor mother? No. How many children in Jean Ritchie's family do you think? You want to take a guess? Seven. Double that. Fourteen? Fourteen children. There aren't that many families that big any, anymore, but back then, when Jean Ritchie was the youngest in her family of 14, and they were a very musical family, and she learned this song when she was a child, and it's about, it's called Old Shoes and Leggings. Let's listen to it. Mommy told me to open the door. Oh, Kate won't have him. I opened the door and he fell on the floor with his old shoe boots and his leggings. Mommy told me to bring him a chair. Oh, Kate won't have him. I brought him a chair and I wished he wasn't there with his old shoe boots and his leggings. Okay, so it's a story about an old man who comes courting this family, and probably in Jean's family, how many girls were there? There could have been eight. Eight girls. So this would have been uh, an old man's come to find a wife, a young wife. And um, so this is a story, and none of the girls want anything to do with him, so <laughs> they pull all sorts of pranks on him. So um, Rich is going to loan me his hat. And Maddie's, Maddie Gordon over here is going to help us out with this song. OK, here we go. Old shoe boots and leggings. And the version that I learned, um, there's, a, there's so many different what we call variants of, of songs, different variations, different versions. And, and um, my version um, was called Overshoes and Leggings. Maddie's going to play the old man, <laughs> if he didn't guess. <laughs> a man that was old came a courting one day. Oh, the girls wouldn't have him. He came down the lane with a walking cane. With his overshoes on and his leggings. She 
told me to give him a chair But all the girls wouldn't have him I gave him a chair and he looked mighty queer <laughs> With his overshoes on and his leggings She told me to hang up his hat But all oh, the girls wouldn't have him I hang up his hat and he left at the car With his overshoes on and his leggings told me to give him some meat Oh, the girls wouldn't have him I gave him some meat And oh, how he did With silver shoes on and his leggings My mother, she told me to put him to bed but all oh, the girls wouldn't have him I put him to bed and he stood on his head <laughs> With his overshoes on and his leggings As my mother used to say when we'd see a character walking down the street, imagine waking up next to that every morning. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, we're going somewhere really fun now. We're going to take a trip on an airship. So uh, this is a piece of sheet music from the Library of Congress. I recorded this song many years ago. And when I was doing the research for this show, I was so excited to see that not only did the Library of Congress have the original sheet music, they had the first recording of it, which was made in 1905, and we're going to play you a bit of it. Come take a trip in my airship. Come take a sail on the stars. Come have a ride around Venus. Come have a spin around Mars. No one to watch while we're kissing. No one to see while we school. Come take a trip in my airship, and we'll visit the man in the moon.
And then they also, and with the help of Steve Winnick from the American Folklife Center, we were able to find a photograph of the men who wrote the song, who were Ren Shields and George Honeyboy Evans. And I, I love this photograph. I love how dapper these men are. I would refer to them as a dapper duo. You don't see enough boilers, <laughs> bowlers this, these days. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play this for you. Um, let's practice the chorus because you, I guarantee you'll want to sing along. Um, what key are we in? We're not in their key. Come, come, take a trip in my airship. Come, sail away to the stars. We'll travel to Venus. We'll sail away to Mars. No one will see while we're kissing. No one will know as we spoon. So come take a trip in my airship and we'll visit the man in the moon. Great. All right, here we go. Off on the airship. Let's see, uh, Greg, let's see where we're going. We're going off on an airship. So this is, so, this is amazing, 1905. Actually, this play was made in the late 1890s. At the beginning, can you believe the Klondike Gold Rush was happening at the same time people were traveling in the air for the first time? So this was a play about a man who went to the Gold Rush in California, I mean, in Alaska, on an airship, the Klondike Air. I feel like it's a little baby. And actually, the man who wrote the song, George Honeyboy Evans, starred in this play five years before he wrote the song. So here we go. I once loved a sailor Once a sailor loved me But he was not a sailor Who sailed on the wide blue sea he sailed in an airship Sailed like a bird on the wing And every evening at midnight He would come to my window and sing Come take a tip in my airship Come sail away to the stars with your kitty, we'll travel to Venus. We'll sail away to Mars. No one will see while we're kissing. No one will know as we spoon. So come take a trip in my airship and we'll visit the man. Through the milky white way While idly drifting And watching the stars He asked if I'd name the day Just by the dipper I gave him my heart The sunshine on a honeymoon We swore to each other we never would part And we teach all the babies this too Come, take a tip in my airship Come, sail away to the stars We'll travel to Venus We'll sail away to Mars no one will see while we're kissing. No 
So come take a trip in my airship And we'll visit the man in the moon Everyone! Come take a trip in my airship Come sail away to the stars We'll travel to Venus We'll No one will see while we're kissing No one will know as we spoon So come take a trip in my airship And we'll visit the man in the moon Thank you All right, we have another sing-along coming up. And I learned this song from a lovely woman named Ruth Crawford Seeger. And there she is. Ruth Crawford Seeger was actually uh, classically trained at the American Conservatory. And she was planning to be a modern composer. And she, she wrote many compositions. She was the first woman uh, to receive the Guggenheim. And, uh, she got sidetracked when she married Carl Seeger, who was a prominent folklorist, and she became completely immersed in American folk music and children. Some of, her, uh, some of them were her own, and one of them was his. His son was Pete Seeger, and then she gave birth to Mike and Peggy and Barbara and Penny. So here's a woman with loads of children, with all this musical training, and, um, and she's married to a folklorist. So she's introduced to the Lomax uh, father and son team, and they're working on a giant anthology of music that they plan to call Our Singing Country. And they ask her to spend years, actually, listening to field recordings, which you've now, can you imagine, spending years listening to field recordings and writing the music down. And after she did our singing country, she said, we need to have books for children. So she ended up making two, uh, one, the Amer uh, American folk songs for children, then she did animal songs for children, and then she did a beautiful Christmas book of traditional songs. So we're very much indebted to Ruth Crawford Seeger for her work here at the Library of Congress. So, um, and I believe her papers are also held here in the music department. So. Hail, hail, Ruth Crawford Seeger. <laughs> and this is a song I learned from her. Oh, and, and you can sing along. Rissily, rossily, now, now, now. That's all you have to sing. Got it? One, two. Rissily, rossily, now, now, now. So you don't even need to look at your paper. You can do that. One, two. Rissily, rossily, now, now, now. Rissily, rossily, now, now, now. Rissily, rossily, now, now, now. Okay, that's our rehearsal. We're going to start now. Here we go. I met my wife in the month of June. Rissily, rossily, now, now, now. I carried her off in a silver spoon. Rissily, rossily, now, now, now. Rissily, rossily, hey, bombosity, nickety, nuckety, rustical quality, be well to be now. She swept the floor but once a year She swore the rounds they cost too dear Rissity, Rosalie, hey, bombosity, nickety, nackety, rustical quality, will it be, will it be now?
She combed her hair but once a year. She swore the fruit never break, she shed a tear. Rissity, rossity, hey, bombosity, nickety, knackety, rustical quality. Be one of me now. I married my wife in the month of June I carried her off in a silver spoon She swept the floor but once a year She swore the brooms they cost too dear She combed her hair but once a year With every rake she shed a tear Everyone! Rissity, rossily, hey, bombosity, nickety, knackety, rustical quality, will it be, will it be now? All right, we have three more for you. As you can see in the program, we don't have any surprises outside of the unicorn for surprise. Um, we're going to do Jenny Jenkins for you. And this is a, another song that I learned from Jean Ritchie. And the, the thing I like to mention to you about Jean Ritchie is that she really, although she grew up in this giant family in Kentucky and it was very musical and she had a head full of, of folk music, she wasn't going to be a folk singer. She wanted to be a teacher. She wanted to be a social worker and a teacher. And she went to school in New York, and then she went to the Henry Settlement Street House, and she used music to teach the children and realized music is probably my path. So here she is at the Henry, Henry Street Settlement House. And... Um, I think there's one more photograph of her I'd like to share. This is an action shot of Jean Ritchie. Probably um, at the same place, the Henry Street Settlement House. So this is a song called Jenny Jenkins that I learned from Jean Ritchie. Richie Stearns, it's gonna help me out. Will you wear red, oh my dear, oh my dear? Will you wear red, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear red, it's the color of my head. Now buy me a folly roll, like Tilly Tolly, Sika Toba, you to call it roll to find me. Roll, Jenny Jenkins, roll. Will you wear white, oh my dear? Wear white Jenny Jenkins. Now I won't wear white cause the color's too bad. Now buy me and fall it all it till it all whatever. So you could double use the color real different. Can we pause for a second? Let's let's learn this together. <laughs> I learned it from Jean Ritchie a long time ago. I learned it when I was probably uh, uh, much younger and had more memory. I'll buy me a... Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> Folly, rally, tilly, tally, seek a double, use a collie. Is that what I'm doing? Folly, rally, tilly, tally, seek a double, use a collie. Roll to find me. You guys say it. One, two, three. Uh, buy me a... And roll, we hold out. Roll to find me. One more time. One, two, three. Uh. Not looking. <laughs> Danny Jenkins roll. All right, you can look. I can't look. So let's try one more time for me. One, two. I'll buy me a folly, rally, tilly, tally, seek a double, use a collie, roll to find me. 
Start from the top. Here we go. Will you wear red, oh my dear, oh my dear? Will you wear red, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear red because the color of my head now by me and follow it all until it's all a secret double use the color road to find me. Road, Jenny Jenkins, roll a little faster. White, oh my dear, oh my dear, will you wear white, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear white, cause the color's too bad, and I'll find me a folly roller till it's all it's sick, cause they'll go use a color roll to find me. Roll, Jenny Jenkins, roll. Kevin Wimmer. Wear green, oh my dear, oh my dear. Will you wear green, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear green. I'm ashamed to be seen, and I'll buy me a folly rolly till it's all a secret double use the folly roll to find me. Roll, Jenny Jenkins, roll. Will you wear blue, oh my dear, oh my dear? Will you wear blue, Jenny Jenkins? Cause I'm no fool now by me I fall and roll it till it's all it's sick of double You take all the road to find me Roll, Jenny Jenkins, Wear black, oh my dear, oh my dear. Will you wear black, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear black. It's the color of a sack, and I'll buy me Polly Rolly till it's all a sick of double use the color roll to find me. Roll, Jenny Jenkins, roll. Oh, what will you wear, oh my dear, oh my dear? What will you wear, Jenny Jenkins? Just go bare with a ribbon in my hair And I'm finding a poly roll Until it's all a sick of double Use the color roll to find me Roll, Jenny Jenkins Roll Richie Stearns and Kevin Wimmer Jackson Fitzgerald Maddie Gordon and Gideon Levine. All right, if any kids want to come down the front and dance today, let's come on and dance. We're going to do Hop Along Peter. You're a good dancer. And is that your sister? Yeah, you dance well together. Oh, Maddie's gonna get up and dance. Look out. Started up to heaven on a stormy night Road being rough and him not well He lost his way and he went to Hop along Peter way gone Hop along Peter way gone Hop along Peter with your bear in mind 
and ain't coming back until it's too spray time. Mother Hubbard and the dog would touch a bowl like a rooster and he howled on the crutch and chopped a black hole and the duck drank wine the goose played the fiddle on a pumpkin pie Up along Peter way gone Up along Peter way gone Up along Peter with your bear in mind I ain't coming back till it's this very time The puppet and the dog with touch of a bull wagon with her handing her on the crutch and saw tobacco and the duck tank wine the goose played the fiddle on a pumpkin vine Up along Peter Way gone Up along Peter Way gone Up along Peter with your bear in mind ain't coming back until it's gooseberry time Seven up the old town cat and the yellow pup. Old Mother Hubbard, she's a picking out the fleas and the kisses and the green collar of the two sleeves. Up along, Peter, where you gone? Up along, Peter, where you gone? Up along, Peter, with your bear in mind. Ain't coming back until it's Christmas time. Hop along, Peter, we go. Hop along, Peter, we go. Hop along, Peter, with your bear in mind. Ain't coming back till it's good spirit time. That was fun. <laughs> and we'll do one last song for you. And then it's upstairs for jump roping and hand clapping and square dancing and all sorts of nonsense. That's going to be so much fun. Speaking of nonsense, this is the grand poobah of nonsense, Edward Lear. Edward Lear wrote The Owl and the Pussycat. That's his greatest hit, but he actually wrote several full volumes of nonsense that if you haven't explored, I'm sure you can borrow a copy from the library. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do Calico Pie, Little Bird Fly, down to the Calico Tree. Wings were blue, singing Tilly Tilly Loo, to the way they flew, but they never flew back to me. He just loved the language and the just kind of galloping rhymes. So, um, in honor of Edward Lear, we're going to uh, sing this version of Calico Pie that I wrote for Leave Your Sleep. Calico Pie, little bird fly down to the calico tree. Wings are blue, singing dilly dilly loo Well, the way they flew, but they never came back to me Calico 
Calico jam, little fish swam over the syllabus sea. Took off his hat to the soul and his crab and the will it be well, but they never came back to me. Never came back, he never came back, he never came, he never came back to me. Never came back, he never came back, he never came, he never came back to me. Ah, oh, he never came back. Let's pause here for a second. Because it's really fun to sing that. Never came back, he never came back, he never came. Can you do that with me? He never came back, he never came back, he never came, he never came back to me. Never came back, he never came back, he never came, he never came back to me. Again. Never came back, he never came back, he never came, he never came back to me. Never came back, he never came back, he never came, he never came back to me. Ah, he never came back. Calico Bam, little Miss Lamb, to be with you for tea. Flip a tea, flop the time, get all up. Never came back to me. Oh well, he never came back. He never came back. He never came. He never came back to me. Never came back. He never came back. He never came. He never came back to me. Ah. Calico jump, grasshopper come, butterfly, beetle, and bee. Over the ground, around and around, with a hop and with a bound, but he never came back to me. Never came back to me. 